Sir, is Maxwell House really the only coffee in the world? Well, your father says so, and your father knows best. <laughs> It's Father Knows Best, transcribed in Hollywood, starring Robert Young as father. A half-hour visit with your neighbors, the Andersons, brought to you by America's favorite coffee, Maxwell House. The coffee that's always good to the last drop. Since the beginning of time, songs have played a vital part in the history of our civilization. There are songs that nerve a nation's heart, songs half sung yet all divine. There are old songs and new songs, gay songs and blue songs. And then there's the song that bounces innocently about the breakfast room of a certain white frame house on Maple Street in the unsuspecting city of Springfield. That's a mysterious type song, and it can lead to all sorts of things, like this. I am the monarch of the sea, the ruler of the queen's navy, whose praise... Good great morning, Britain. Mother. Oh, good morning, dear. Do you want me to set the table or anything? No, everything's all taken care of. I'll have your eggs ready in a minute. And we are his sisters and his cousins and his aunts, and his sisters and his cousins <gasps> and his aunts. Mother. Uh, yes, dear. Have you ever noticed Stanley Lawson's eyes? No, but I presume he has them. <laughs> They're blue. Oh, dear, I forgot all about the blue thread I was supposed to buy for Elizabeth Smith. Mother! She'll be furious. Mother, how can you think of thread? That's just the point, dear, I didn't. Morning, Mommy. Oh, good morning, Angel. You better hurry up or you'll be late for school. Well, I couldn't help it, Mommy. Bud would let me in the bathroom. Drink your orange juice and stop blaming everything on your brother. But he wouldn't. You know Why? I think he's shaving. <laughs> Never mind, Kathy. He said he might even grow a mustache. He did? <laughs> Betty, will you stop making those ridiculous jokes and eat your breakfast? What jokes? Imagine Bud with a mustache. I didn't say anything about Bud. Oh, you did too. You said he was going to grow a mustache. I said Stanley Lawson might. Oh, him. The bird watcher. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a bird watcher, is there, Mother? Betty, if I were you, I'd spend a little more of my time thinking about, well, something other than Stanley Lawson. Mother, you just don't understand. You and Father have been married so long, you simply aren't, well, romantic. Aren't we? Well, maybe you are, but Father certainly isn't. <laughs> He's had his moments. <laughs> Mother, how can you say that? Last night I asked him to look at the moon, and do you know what he said? I can't imagine. He said he saw it last year. <laughs> well, if he said so, he probably did. I think Daddy's very romantic. Doesn't he kiss Mommy every morning? Never mind, Angel. Well, doesn't he? Some kiss. I've seen goldfish who could... Betty, <laughs> <laughs> But, Mother, if you think that... Being romantic. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi, Father. Oh, what's the big deal for breakfast today? Hi, honey. <laughs> hmm. Jim. What's the matter? Come here. What? Now look, Margaret. Margaret, I <laughs> smuggled. <laughs> please. <laughs> there. See? Honey, what's the matter with you? Why, nothing. Look what you've done. You've got lipstick all over me. Some romance. What are you talking about? Oh, it isn't important, dear. Betty told Mommy that she didn't... Kathy, you have to eat your cereal. But I have to tell eat Daddy... Eat your cereal, Angel. That's much more important. Gee whiz. Margaret, there isn't anything going on here that might 
interest me, is there? Oh, I don't imagine... Well, yes. Maybe there is. Betty said that she didn't... Shall I get your coffee, Father? Betty, sit down and let me hear what Kathy has to say. Yes, Father. Go ahead, kitten. Well, Daddy said... Kathy doesn't have anything to say, do you, dear? Don't I? <laughs> no, dear. Daddy. Yes, Kathy? I don't have anything to say. <laughs> well, at least that's a novelty. Jim. Yes? Listen. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Well? Doesn't that mean anything to you? Doesn't what mean anything to me? That song. Honey, you've probably been working too hard. Why don't you go back to bed and let everything... Jim. I'll get it. Martha, if you don't do something about the way that boy comes down the stairs... <laughs> One thing at a time, dear. Now listen. Yes. La, 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 la. You already sang that. La, 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 la. Honey. Doesn't that make you think of anything? Yes, but I'd rather not discuss it. <laughs> Jim, I'm very disappointed in you. I thought certainly... Mom, it's for you. Thank you, dear. We'll talk about the song when I get back. That'll be fine, honey. Betty, what's this all about? I don't know, Father. She does, too. She told Mom. I don't know what the song is. And that's what Father meant, isn't it? I don't know what anything is. Why should La 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 mean anything to me? I think Mother's trying to bring back something. Well, it isn't vaudeville, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Would it help any if you knew the words? It might. What are they? La La La. <laughs> Kathy. I guess not, huh? <laughs> it was it was something about a sailor, I think. My body lies over the ocean? Look, if you can't do any better than that. But that's about a sailor. Oh, it Betty, you know more about songs than I do. What could that one possibly the sun so hard Bud. Bud. Morning, everybody. Bud, we're having a very serious discussion about a matter of great importance. Atta boy. Say, Dad. Bud, will you please? But I have to ask you something. Notice anything different? You're wearing one of my ties. I mean something else different. Uh, no. You don't see anything, huh? It was about a captain in the Navy or something. Well, that's a big help. How about if I hold my chin up like this? Bud, please. I heard Mommy singing the song last night, and it wasn't either about a sailor. All I know is that it has something to do with being romantic. Not even with a light on it? <laughs> Bud, we're talking about a song. Oh, what song? We don't know. Then how can you talk about it? <laughs> it's not about a sailor. It's about a man who has dozens of cousins. Anybody we know? Bud. Yes, Dad? Would you rather drink your orange juice or wear it? I'll drink it. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Well, what about the cousins, Kathy? The man had them. I think she's right, Father. Cousins and sisters and aunts. Something like that. Well, what could that... Oh, my gosh. Cousin Louise. What? That's what your mother was trying to remind me. I promised to buy a punch bowl for Cousin Louise's wedding. You mean that's in the song? No, but all that stuff about cousins and aunts, it's a good thing I remember. Dad, don't you see anything on my chin, honestly? Orange juice? Wipe it off. <laughs> Holy cow. Fifteen years old and he still can't steer food into his mouth. He has to bounce it in. I'm awfully sorry. That was Elizabeth Smith, and I had to explain about the blue thread. What blue thread? Uh, the spool I forgot to buy. Uh, yes. Margaret. Yes, dear? About that song. I finally got it. I knew you would. It was a tough fight, but I made it. I knew you wouldn't forget. Not my husband. And what's more, I'm going to take care of it the second I get downtown. You are? Naturally. What's the good of remembering if you don't do something about it? Well, I guess now we know who's romantic and who isn't. May I have the cream and sugar, please? <laughs> there you are, Dad. Thank you. 
Betty. What? What's romantic about a punch bowl? What they put in it. Oh! Margaret! Honey, I'm home! Hi, Hi Daddy. Daddy! We're in the dining room, dear! I'll be right in. Doggone heaviest punch bowl I've ever seen. I had a letter from your mother this morning, dear, and she's... Jim, what on earth is that? Honey, the next time you want me to buy a wedding present, will you please pick something a little easier to carry? Did you get it, Father? Naturally, I got it. I want to see it. Uh, move some of those dishes over, bud, like a good fellow. Okay, Dad. Jim, I don't know what you're talking about. The present for Louise. You told me to get it, didn't you? I know, I but... went back to Gorman's and they'd sold the only one they had. Jim. Wait till I get the paper off this thing and you'll see a punch bowl that's really a punch bowl. Jim, if you'll only... Had to go clear to Plainville to get it, too. Took me all afternoon. There. Oh, Father, it's gorgeous. It's sure big. When did they put the stuff in it? Well, Margaret. Jim, I've been trying to tell you, I bought the one at Gorman's. Well, the man said that you did... Well, I knew you'd forget, and darling, it doesn't make any difference. But this morning, you told me, what are we going to do with two punch bowls? That isn't important. Nothing is, except that you remembered what you did this morning. Creepers. Honey, before it goes any further... You didn't forget to take care of that, did you? I... <laughs> of course I took care of it. <laughs> Uh, Betty said you weren't romantic. <laughs> <laughs> we showed her. <laughs> Didn't we? But, Daddy, if you... Ow! What's the matter, kitten? Betty kicked me. Pardon me, my foot slipped. Oh, oh dear, I think the string beans are burning. Put the punch bowl in the den, Jim. Uh, maybe we can take it back tomorrow. Okay, honey. Father, this is awful. You know, there's only one thing I don't understand. What's everybody talking about? <laughs> Bud, it's a long, sad story. But if La 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 wasn't about the punch bowl, what was it about? You know, kitten, I was just wondering the same thing myself. <laughs> Situation normal, all fouled up. <laughs> That's the Andersons for you. And once again, father's in the middle, wondering what it's all about. But ladies, there are some things about which the head of the house knows all there is to know. For example, your husband is the authority on truly fine coffee. In fact, he's the world's greatest coffee expert. Now, because more families buy our Maxwell House coffee than any other brand, we're often called experts, too. But when you brew the coffee and pour a fragrant cupful for your husband, why, he's the only expert you care about. And tomorrow, if you'll fill his cup with the richly satisfying, full-bodied flavor of our Maxwell House coffee, he's sure to smile and say, that's really good coffee. In fact, we're so certain he'll say that, we'll return your money if he doesn't. You see, we're positive your man will prefer that heartwarming, good-to-the-last-drop flavor. It's a flavor that belongs to Maxwell House alone, because only Maxwell House has the recipe, a very special recipe that demands certain choice coffees blended just so. No coffee tastes like Maxwell House, because no coffee is made like Maxwell House. Tomorrow, then, serve your husband our Maxwell House. If he doesn't say, best coffee ever, why, just send us the can and unused portion, and we'll refund your money. Our address is right on every familiar blue tin. Yes, let that coffee expert you married enjoy the world's most famous coffee flavor. Make his coffee Maxwell House. Always good to the last drop. <laughs> The dinner hour has passed in the white frame house on Maple Street, and a delicate situation has developed. There's an air of intrigue and excitement as spies flit merrily. 
Well, it really isn't nice to call them spies, I suppose. When they're on our side, they're always known as counter-espionage agents. But spies or agents or whatever you choose, the Anderson living room is crawling with them. Like this. Father. Did you find out anything else? Well, I found out a few things. Daddy, do I get to go in next? Uh, we'll see, kitten. Betty. Why don't we just go in and ask her? That's the easiest way. Oh, Bud. Well, isn't it? You know, Bud might have something. But, Father, I practically solved the whole thing. Well, what is it? Don't just stand there. Mother told me that it's a date, and you're going to take her somewhere. Where? I don't know. When? Well, she didn't tell me that. And why? Father, I've only been in there twice. <laughs> and you've got practically the whole thing. Well, we just need a few little details. Did she tell you what La 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 was? We found that out, Kathy. It's that Gilbert and Sullivan thing. Why don't we just go in... Well, just a second, please. Betty, did she say what kind of a date it was? A birthday? An anniversary? She just said that it was an important date. Oh. Maybe it's the 4th of July. Kathy, that's a date. Why don't we just go in... Bud, will you please stop that? <laughs> you said maybe I had something. If you have, I hope it isn't catchy. <laughs> now what did I do? Betty... We might as well face it. We're getting nowhere. But, Father, if you could have seen how happy she looked. Oh, I know, sweetheart, but... Just knowing that you remembered has made her the happiest woman in Springfield. You can't take that away from her. Betty, this is a practical world, and your mother is a practical woman. We'll all just have to face it. I don't remember. How about May 28th? What about it? That's a day. <laughs> Why don't you try dromedary? That's a date, too. How about dromedary? Dad. We've thought of everything we could. We've tried everything we could. Dad. I'll just lay all of my cards on the table and explain the whole thing. Dad. I'll just go in and tell her. <laughs> right now. Dad. What is it, bud? Why don't we just go in... <laughs> Father, maybe if you wait... I'm going in and get it over with. Jumping creepers. Daddy, I know a lot more dates. I think we ought Margaret's to just Margaret's a go reasonable in. woman. She'll understand. Men aren't supposed to remember things like whatever I didn't. Jim? Oh, still in the den, honey? I'm just getting a few things straightened out. Are you and the children having a good time? Well, we're... Uh, uh, Margaret. Yes, dear. Look, honey, I don't want you to get upset. Upset? Why, Jim, nothing can upset me tonight. Uh, honey... To think that you remembered after all these years. But that's what I want to tell you. You see... I told all the girls at our bridge luncheon this afternoon, and you've never seen such a bunch of envious females. You told them? <laughs> they didn't believe me at first, but that was because they didn't want to believe me. Oh, will you look at what that boy did to these socks? Margaret... Elizabeth Smith even said I reminded you, but I didn't, did I? No, you <laughs> certainly didn't. Of course, I did give you a hint, but it wasn't much of a hint, was it? No, it wasn't much of a hint at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun, isn't it, Jim? Uh, yes, honey, it's going to be lots of fun. <laughs> well, I uh, might as well get back to the children. Tell Kathy she'll have to get ready for bed pretty soon. All right, honey. I'll uh, take care of everything. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Coward. <laughs> That's what you are. Nothing but a spineless coward. Father. Betty, don't even talk to me. I'm ashamed of myself. Did you tell her? Well, no. Oh. But I ought to kick myself from here clear down to the corner. She's going to be heartbroken when she does find out. Maybe she won't have to. Betty, I haven't the faintest idea of what I'm supposed to remember. And what have we got to work on? A song about a sailor with a bunch of relatives. <laughs> a big help, that is. Daddy, how about January 16th? You mean, where was I on the night of? I think I'll go in and try again. No, she's liable to get suspicious. Bud, hmm? you go into the den and try. Try what? Find out where I'm supposed to take your mother and when. How do I do that? Well, ask her leading questions, like, uh... Well, you'll think of something. I will? Of course you will. <laughs> now, go ahead. Holy cow. Daddy, how about June 5th? That's a good day. Why don't you stop that? 
I'm trying Thinks to tell. Thinks it's so easy. How do I know what to ask? Oh, hiya, Mom. Hello, dear. Uh, fixing me some socks, huh? Bud, you don't conceal pieces of old razor blades in your shoes, do you? What would I do that for? <laughs> I was just wondering. Say, Mom, speaking of dates... Were we? We weren't, huh? <laughs> we were speaking of socks. Oh. Well, speaking of socks, where are you and Dad going to go? When, dear? Uh, that's what I was going to ask you next. <laughs> oh, you mean on our special little celebration? Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, that's a secret. It is, huh? <laughs> It's a special secret just between your father and myself. It's more of a secret than you think. <laughs> what? I mean, <laughs> well, uh, it's a pretty good secret. <laughs> yes, sir. Bud, are you and your father up to something again? Oh, no. Uh, I mean, uh, he just said, well, uh, he didn't. <laughs> I mean, Betty was a... Uh, uh, he was gonna... No. <laughs> Maybe we'd better go in and talk to him. Okay, but uh, it won't do any good. Uh, he doesn't know any... I mean, uh... <laughs> it's all right with me. It wasn't my idea in the first place. Come along, bud. I told them I didn't know what to say, but they wouldn't listen. What do they care what happens? Jim, do you know what's been going on with these nosy children of ours? What's that, honey? Uh, what do you mean? Well, first it was Betty, and now it's Bud. They're determined to find out what our secret is. I didn't say anything, Mommy. I know, dear. Uh, Margaret, let's be fair about this. After all, we are a family, and it isn't quite right for one part of a family to have a secret they won't share with the other part, is it? Well... It isn't, Mother. You know it isn't. I suppose I have been a little selfish, wanting to keep it just for ourselves, but... All right, Jim. Go ahead. Uh, what? You may tell them if you wish. I may. Well? Uh, you know, Margaret... When you get right down to it, uh, why should we? That's what I said. Father. You heard your mother, Betty. Why don't you all go somewhere and uh, do something? I'll get it. Never mind, kitten. I'd better answer it before I... Well, I'll answer it. First time I've been glad to hear the phone ring in five years. Hello? Hey, Jim. What's the big idea? Hector? You know darn well we're supposed to play poker tomorrow night. Well, who said we weren't? Well, how can you play poker and take Margaret to see some cockeyed show? I'm not taking Mar... What? Elizabeth said Margaret told her... Hector, that... Wait a minute. What's the name of the show? Who knows? Pinafore, something like that. That's it. That's the whole thing. What is? Heck, you've got to do something for me. Call the theater. Get the two best seats in the house in my name. What about the poker game? I'll explain the whole thing to you later. You mean you'd rather go to a show than play poker? Of course not, but I have to go to the show. Will you please do as I ask? Oh, I'll call you right back. Thanks, pal. Pinafore. How in the world was I supposed to... Sailors and cousins. Well, what did Hector want, dear? Oh, he, uh, uh... It was about the poker game tomorrow night, but I explained to Jim, him... Jim, I've forgotten all about the poker game. It isn't important, honey. Not when we've got something like... Kids, I think we ought to tell you. How about it, Margaret? All right, dear, if you insist. But, Father... I've already made the reservations. And tomorrow night, your mother and I are going to see a performance of HMS Pinafore. Exactly as we did on the night we had our first date. Twenty years ago. Mother, how thrilling! You mean this whole thing? Holy... <laughs> There aren't many husbands who'd remember a thing like that, but your father did. Oh, it wasn't anything, honey. I... What was that, Betty? I didn't say anything. I, uh, thought you did. I might have been thinking, but I didn't say anything. <laughs> Daddy! What is it, Kathy? If you 
you already saw it. Why do you want to see it again? <laughs> we want to see if they've gotten any new cousins. Oh! Well, that's probably Hector again. I'd better see what he wants. You know, children, you have a very lucky mother. We have a lucky father, too. <laughs> Don't tell me the age of miracles is over. That was the closest call I've ever had. Hello? Jim, have I got great news for you. Did you get them? They're sold out. Oh, no! It's not always easy these days to find truly good value. But with coffee, all you need do is remember that flavor is the reason you buy coffee. So the coffee with the most in flavor is bound to be the best value. And there's one coffee famous above all others for flavor, our Maxwell House coffee. Take home a familiar blue tin of Maxwell House with the big white cup and drop. Then brew some for the world's greatest coffee expert, your husband. When he says, best coffee ever, you'll know you found the flavor all right, and the best value, too. To prove that, just count all the truly good cups you get from each pound. This weekend, then, choose the coffee with the world's best-loved flavor, our Maxwell House coffee. Always good to the last drop. <laughs> At the very, very top of any good theater, you're bound to find the roof. And the Springfield Opera House is a very good theater. Immediately below the roof, however, you don't always find Jim and Margaret Anderson. That's where they are tonight, though, in the very last row of the very top balcony. Like this. Twenty years. Twenty wonderful years. A long time, isn't it, honey? Wonderful years. And wonderful moments. And this most wonderful of all. Margaret. Don't say anything, dear. Just hold my hand. But uh, I want to explain about the seats. Jim, please. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Margaret, believe me, I tried. I know you did, Angel. I know how you must have tried, but I never expected you to remember this. You got the same seats we had 20 years ago. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Folks, Gainsey, the famous talking dog, always says... <laughs> Gaines Meal. What about Gaines Meal, Gainesy? <laughs> Nourishes every inch of a dog. It sure does. Kennel and laboratory tests prove Gaines Meal supplies balanced nourishment your dog needs for good health. Yet Gaines costs less to feed than any other type of dog food. So, folks, get Gaines Meal. <laughs> America's largest selling dog food. <laughs> Join us again next week when we'll be back with Father Knows Best, starring Robert Young as Jim Anderson, with Roy Bargey and the Maxwell House Orchestra. In our cast were Rhoda Williams as Betty, June Whitley, Ted Donaldson, Norma Jean Nilsson, Herb Bygram, and yours truly, Bill Foreman. You know, United States savings bonds are now defense bonds, so contribute to the nation's security as you build for your own future. Buy United States defense bonds regularly through the payroll savings plan or the bond a month plan. Now until next Thursday, good night and good luck from the makers of Maxwell House, America's favorite brand of coffee. Always good to the last drop. Father Knows Best was transcribed in Hollywood and written by Ed James. Now stay tuned in for Dragnet, which follows immediately over most of these stations.
Dragnet is the story of your police force in action. Listen on NBC.